Hi guys, it's Ray. We are getting started on a new cup. I'm going to use one of those clear cast decals I bought. I'm going to use the F-bomb one. This, that, them, it, you, everything. And that's going to go here after I get a layer of epoxy on it. I'm assuming because this is a clear cast um, that it's going to be like clear vinyl or clear water slide. If you don't go over epoxy, you'll be able to see the edges. Plus, my spray paint did some weird shit and, like, cracked. You can see it under. But to get to this point, um, I took six colors of spray paint, a pink, an orange, a yellow, a green, a blue, and a purple, and just spray painted it in stripes. Then I um, took my Dawn Power Wash and sprayed around where I wanted my big white spot to be and just kind of spritzed it here and there because I did want a lot of my color to still show through. And then I spray painted the whole thing white quick and then immediately rinsed it off. I didn't epoxy in between the base spray paint and the power wash spray paint because I didn't really have a specific look in mind so I wasn't terribly concerned. So. And that's that. I'm going to get this turning. I have 20 mLs of epoxy mixed up. And I'm going to put a little bit of my Rainbow Bright Cheek Glitter from It's Pretty Personal in here. Just a little bit. My epoxy is relatively bubbly just because um, it's, even though it's super warm out today, it's chilly in my craft room. So I will give it a good torch and that will take those bubbles out and it'll be fine. So I'm just going to mix that in and get it on the coat. I think the cracks formed because the yellow fluorescent spray paint didn't like the blue that I used. But as I recall, this blue has caused cracks on other cups. So, but I'm not terribly worried about them. The power wash covered a lot of it and the decal cover what's still visible through here. So, it's all good. So, I will be back when this is dry. Okay, so this is dry now, and I'm going to try to get the decal on it. So, this one is clear. And I'm just going to lift the whole thing. Trying to figure out my placement. Just gonna smooth it out from the center. And I do have to lift this side. Beautiful. All right. So it is on. I like my placement. I'm good. I think I got enough white behind everything to make it pop enough. So I'm going to get this back over to the turner and we will get some epoxy on it in a minute here. But that is it for this step. Um, yes, I know I could print this myself on water slide or my own clear printable vinyl, but sometimes it's nice to just have something 
ready to go. That's where these clear cast decals really come into play. Okay, we're going to get a coat of epoxy on this, and then I'm going to let it dry, and then I will be back later after it's dry so we can see the edges and stuff. So, I'm just going to get it coated. Okay, so I'm going to let this spin and dry. I am seeing from the side angle a couple of bubbles potentially under the decal, unfortunately. Um, but I see a little bit of the edge from the side, but nothing too dramatic. So I can see it come up here, mostly over the white. But the bubbles tick me off. You can see them at the side angle. But I'll be back when this is dry to look at. Okay, so this is mostly dry. Um, it's not bad. I do have a couple little bubbles, probably where I got it stuck and peeled it again. But overall, I really like it. Um, Trying to get it to focus. You can't really see the edge. Like, if I know where to look for it, I can find it. Like, on the corner. But, um, overall, I really, really like this cup. So, kind of want to keep it for myself. That's how the bottom looked, by the way. So, that is it. My first use of a gracefully created clear cast decal. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.